Former Cardinal and Archbishop Theodore McCarrick was arraigned today on indecent assault charges for an incident in Wellesley. He is the highest ranking former church official to be charged in the sex abuse scandal in the U.S. The hearing was quick, but the case has been years in the making. Thank you for joining us. I'm Anna Ritas Rodriguez. And I'm David Wade. Paula is off tonight. McCarrick was at one time one of the most prominent Catholic leaders in the entire country. As a bishop and later Archbishop of Washington, he regularly spent time with presidents, members of Congress, and Supreme Court justices. But as WBZ's Christina Hager shows us, the man we saw today was far from the powerful figure that you see in these pictures. You are charged with three counts of indecent assault and battery on a person 14 or over. The frail 91-year-old ex-cardinal Theodore McCarrick faced a judge for an alleged sex assault in Wellesley back in 1974. The defendant immersed himself into the fabric of the victim's family and then used his status as a priest to access and pray the vict upon the victim. Before accusations prompted the Vatican to defrock McCarrick in 2019, he had claimed to be on the side of victims back when the church sex abuse scandal first broke. We will do what we have said we will do. We will protect children. But court documents allege when the victim was 11 years old, McCarrick began sexually assaulting him and would repeatedly sexually abuse him over the years. That victim, now in his 60s. He specifically used the act of confession to get the victim away from his parents and from his siblings, and then would have sexually assault the victim. Before the arraignment, Monsignor Anthony Figueredo says McCarrick told him something surprising. I want my priesthood back. It's almost as if he was deluded about the damage he has caused. Why are you not repentant of the abuse that you've done? Victims' advocates shouted as McCarrick headed back to his car. I'm really glad to see that little weasel in court because he ruined lives, children's lives. The court entered a not guilty plea on behalf of McCarrick and ordered him to stay away from children as he now heads back to his current home in Missouri. At Dedham District Court, Christina Hager, WBC News.